Okay, um, in this video we have two more examples of what we're labeling as exponential derivatives. And we have one problem where y equals x to the x power and y equals x to the 1 over x power. And we want to find in each case uh, what is dy dx. So, as in the last video, let's start with this one here. Um, we take the natural log of both sides of the equation and we'll have the natural log of y equal the natural log of x raised to the x power or using the property of logarithms we can write this as x times the natural log of x and now we can take derivatives of both sides of this equation uh, d dx of the natural log of y and using our logarithmic differentiation technique that is just 1 over y times dy dx this is what we want to solve for, and that will be equal to the derivative of this side of the equation with respect to x. So let's see, this would be this times the derivative of this, which is 1. So we have the natural log of x plus this times the derivative of this, and that's x. Now the derivative of this is 1 over x dx dx but of course that's just 1 so we usually don't write that down so this is equal to 1 plus the natural log of x so 1 over y times dy dx equals 1 plus the natural log of x or dy dx that equals y times 1 plus the natural log of x and remember that this is what y is y is x to the x power so dy dx that will equal this 1 plus the natural log of x times x to the x power and that's our solution. y equals x to the x power. And as our dy dx. So once we use the techniques, it's pretty straightforward, really. Let's see how we can apply it to this second problem here. Okay, now we want to look at it for this problem. So let's see. Take the log of both sides. We're going to have the natural log of y equals the natural log of x to the 1 over x. And that will be equal to 1 over x times the natural log of x. And this is just using our property of logarithms. The logarithm, say, of x cubed, that equals 3 times the natural log of x. But now, when you're using this, don't get confused. 
the natural log of x cubed. That's entirely different from this expression. Here we have a variable x, and we're taking the third power, then we're taking the natural log of it. Here we have a variable x, we're going to find this natural log, then we're going to take that number and raise it to the third power. So this is entirely different from this, so this is valid, but don't confuse this with this. Okay. Now, we have that the natural log of y equals 1 over x times the natural log of x. Now we're going to take the derivative of both sides of the equation with respect to x. So we have the derivative of the natural log of y that equals 1 over y times dy dx. And this is what we want to solve for. And that will equal this times the derivative of this plus this times the derivative of this. So let's see. Um, let's write this as x to the minus 1 times the natural log of x. So we have the natural log of x times this derivative. That would be minus. Let's put parentheses around this so we don't get confused. Bring the minus 1 down here. That's minus. And then it will be x to the negative 1 minus 1 power. That would be x to the negative 2. So that is this times the derivative of this. And that is x squared minus the natural log of x divided by x squared divided by x squared that was this times the derivative of this then we have plus this times the derivative of this now this derivative right here is going to be 1 over x dx dx, which is just 1, and we also have this that's being multiplied by. So that's going to be plus 1 over x squared. So that's the derivative of this side of the equation. So let's see, we have dy dx, before we go further, let's just do this. We have 1 over y times dy dx. That will equal, we have x to the negative 2 on both sides here. So let's factor that out. We have x to the negative 2 times 1 minus The natural log of x. Okay, now we want to solve this equation and finally get what dy dx is equal to. So, dy dx will equal, multiply both sides of the equation by y, and it will be y times this stuff, but y is this, x x to the 1 over x power, that's what y is, times this, times x to the minus 2, times 1 minus the natural log of x. And let's see, can we multiply these together? Multiplying is the same thing as adding exponents. So this would be equal to x 
to the 1 over x minus 2 power times 1 minus the natural log of x. And let's see, we could write this. We have 1 over x minus 2 over 1, and that would equal 1 minus 2x divided by x. So if we wanted to, we could rewrite this as this would equal x to the 1 minus 2x divided by x power times 1 minus the natural log of x. And that is dy dx. Well, when y equals x to the 1 over x power. So that's it. Again, um, if you were looking at this and you wanted to find dy dx, there's no way that this would be obvious to you that that would be the answer for it. Uh, we have to keep the natural log of both sides of the equation and set it up using logarithmic differentiation. And once you do that, it's pretty much just following the steps and following it along. And finally, this is what we get for our answer. Okay, um, hope that was helpful. Come back and join us for some more videos, and we will try and solve some more problems.